hello hello so um as you can probably hear by my voice i'm not very well um just a cold sore throat um that sort of thing thing going around the family um but i didn't want to go a, a second week without doing the astrology so i thought if i just do just pull a few cards for each sign um and obviously not show my my nut my my face basically my poorly poorly face and um so i'm gonna and this way with it being recorded i can pause it in between things and take a drink and things like that so i hope this is okay for you guys um i appreciate you very very much i really do and i love all the comments um you know that you you give me you know about how accurate the readings are and um you know just that it, it cheers your week up so that's that i didn't you know this this is why and I, I i want to um i love doing this i really do i really do so um just to let you know um the healing list so obviously i definitely put my name on this healing list it started in um the fourth of the 4th of January this started, 4th of January, can you believe this? So um, this is the book, the healing book. Um, it's amazing, really, you know, people have um, been saying how much this is, it started off with just kind of like um, an experiment, I'm just, um, you know, doodling about, and, uh, and then it, people started to say how, well they were feeling afterwards and sometimes people felt um, as if they were more protected um, as if that their family um, and uh, it was it was like a, a guiding light around them so it was feeling more positive so it's not just for feeling ill it's for um, it's for you know all sorts of things uh, mind body and the soul so isn't this wonderful so yeah so I just thought I'd show you the book. And if there is anybody who would like to be put on the healing list, then we'll see healing circuits evolve to the circle because there's so many people shining light onto this now that even if your name has been put on here right from the beginning, that's January, all that they keep being um, shown lots and lots of love. Okay, it still comes through, I promise you. Um, and if it's an ongoing thing, you'll see my name on everyone because obviously everybody knows about my health issues. You'll also see my mum on everyone. Okay, so me and my mum, we're there. Um, there was my daughter, um, Rhea, and Ava, when Ava, the newest baby, um, came, came in and she needed some help right from the beginning um, of her life. So, yeah, this is like, um, and it's just, you know, a real complete story. There was Brandy, and if you remember, Brandy was um, living out of her car, and she was in a a, um, a real bad place. Um, there's people that I've seen on um, Facebook who are, and I look at them, and I think, wow, they need some healing. So I've added them onto here, and if their higher self says it's okay to have healing, then the healing just flows to them. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a bit childish, I know, um, but it works. Um, also, Lisa and Jeremiah, um, I had to, I had a big bit of space there and not enough for two, so I put big letters here. There's <laughs> my cat, Mo. Um, there's also other cats as well on here. Um, Auntie Helene. Um, there's all sorts. So, I love this star and dynamic chihuahuas. Okay, Penny Gilbert's family, um, Annette, there's just, just lots here. Um, so, yeah, if you want to be added to this, then please reach out, just let me know. This little cat here, Gallivanting Griffin, this was a cat that climbed into my daughter's car and ended up coming here to Herne Bay from Canterbury. And... Um, we thought he was just a stray cat. He didn't have a home because he just was so starving. And he was in a, you know, we, we thought, well, he's in a real bad way. Well, um, a couple of days later, my daughter said, no, what? And he, he has got a home and he's got a Facebook page. 
um, gallivanting griffin. <laughs> um, and apparently the, 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 that would be the second time that month that um, gallivanting griffin's owner had to come to her because he climbed in another car um, and just, uh, that's what he did, he just lays down and, you know, so anyway, he, he got um, knocked over by a car that I heard, so I put him on the healing list. So again, me and my mum are on here again. So it really doesn't matter. This is my brother, um, Steve, um, and also a good friend, Steve Mitchell. So that's Steve James. And so, yeah, there's lots of, um, you know, people that really do need, um, you know, some help. And it doesn't matter, like I said, if it's ongoing. Now, Trump here, this is funny. Um, I put this out there. I took a photograph and put it out there sometimes on my Facebook page. And somebody said, what did you put Trump on there for? And I replied underneath it, protection. And two days later, what happened? So that was funny, but not funny. <laughs> so, yeah, this is, the, this is the thing. I'm being guided by my higher self, guided by my guides. So... Yeah, so we're, we're, this is, we have kind of the 16, okay, page 16, um, and we're now on, let me find the newest one, it is 17, there it is, okay, so we're on 17, okay, so I thought I'd try a different style, as you can see here, so Vera, she was having a hard time emotionally, um, so I put um, Vera on here and me because I'm not very well today probably going to add on my mum here too so yeah let me know let me know if you need to be on here or if you know someone else needs to be on here maybe your pet needs to be here okay so anyway that's that's that um I'm doing a tarot workshop on Saturday the um I think it's the 27th Sorry, let me just get that up here. Yeah, I think it's Saturday the 20th. This, this next coming Saturday. Um, and, and I'm doing a tarot workshop. And it, it is for uh, beginners or it's for anybody who wants to maybe know the details in the write-up um, below this video. Okay, so I'm going to try and talk as minimal as possible from now on. Um, I just wanted to kind of just let you know what was going on. Okay, so we're going to be doing the Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and then the Fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, then the Air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and then the Water signs, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancerians. Okay, just jotting down the time. Okay, so here we go. Let me get the first one up here. Okay, this is the 22nd through to the 28th of July. Tuning in now. This is for next week. Okay. Right, so we've got the Wheel of Fortune, the Moon, the Seven of Wands. Okay, so things are about to change. So if you were going to ask me, will my circumstances stay the same? You know, they're going to get worse. Um, the answer is they're going to get better. Okay, my Wheel of Fortune, I've programmed, is to be going in the right direction okay so the wheel of fortune means that your fortune is on its way um that the time is right please rely on your psychic intuition rely on your um your it's like your um your head that says i am going to go for that that is the right thing for me to do um everything feels right so your instincts okay look out for your instincts look out for signs like feathers or like something that turns up three times for instance you might see i don't know an advert on the on the um internet you know on youtube perhaps an advert or and then you see some 
else and somebody else is mentioning that thing uh, it happens three times and it's like yeah that feels right to me okay um but uh, and and this is to do with i feel you know for somebody out there it's going to be to do with love life it's to do with staying or going uh, for others it's to do with a job staying or going i feel that this is your chance the seven of wands is your chance um to stand up for yourself um you're not not afraid to do so so if you have a look at this card the wands is a doing card it it's when you are determined and you have to stay strong okay so this is everything's coming at you but you don't look frightened you don't look afraid you look completely in control and that's what the universe is asking you to do don't doubt your energy don't doubt that you are in charge and that you can beat this you can do what you need to do in order to get through things okay um and like i said your psychic intuition is just going to get stronger and stronger um and you're going to be very very pleased with the results of that okay so i'm not going to tax my voice too much so um that is for virgos have a little look sorry that's for taurus we're now going to do virgos okay so virgos that's 11 40. okay so let's just shuffle and see what they want to tell virgos now oh hello these are new cards as you've seen my old ones were a bit bashed up so i'm breaking in these new a new deck Okay, so this is the 22nd through to the 28th of July. Okay, so the Ten of Cups. So this is indicating that it's time to love yourself. Okay, if you haven't been feeling um, uh, trusting, if you haven't been trusting yourself, or you've been feeling as though other people have been taking you for granted, or not accepting you as a person trying to change you in any way um being heavily critical of you this card indicates that you're going to take that no more um this is you saying i don't think so i deserve better bring it on if you think you're going to challenge me next time so this is doing it in a firm but fair way okay it's graceful and dignified. For some of you, this will be linked with love life and partnerships. So partnerships could be to do with business partnerships or work partnerships, or, you know, something that you're working alongside another person um, with. Um, otherwise, it can be love life partnerships, relationships. It can be family matters, anything to do with working with another person. There are some choices that need to be made because maybe things have got a bit complicated. Maybe things need to be kind of turned around so that there's an equal, um, an equal side uh, to what is happening. And again, another spiritual card, the Hierophant. So the Hierophant, um, you can see, he's looking through his third eye here, okay? Um, there's all sorts of different religions here, different belief systems, um, but they're all kind of working towards one end here. He's got tarot cards in his hand. Um, this to me just says that it doesn't matter what your belief systems are. The universal thing is love. Always, always has been, always should be. Um, and so love is the key to understanding where you're going for your future you know loving yourself being treated with love and respect and following your spirituality it's all very very important okay so that's what i see for virgos okay so this is um capricorns like i said this is um better 
for me as I'm not feeling very well so that I can pause it when I need to. Okay, so um, let's see what they want to tell you is going on with Capricorns. Okay, so the Prince of Wands, okay, and the Prince of Wands, it's the Leo um, here, but it doesn't have to be a Leo. It's somebody who's acting like a Leo, okay? Now, Leos are very spontaneous. Think of the lion. They can change in a heartbeat from being quite laid back and quite lazy to, where's the party at? I need to get there. Um, entertain me. I'm bored. Um, Leos are great characters to be around, um, but they can they literally want to um, change their minds sometimes quickly and go and do something else. So have you been feeling a little bit like that, um, changing your mind, maybe upsetting other people because you've changed your mind? Or are you facing a dilemma where the universe is asking you to um, go against your instinct, you know, um, you know, perhaps you're trying to do the right thing. Um, you promised what you promised, but something's drawing you down another lane, you know, and uh, you just don't know what to do, okay? You don't want to upset anybody, but at the end of the day, um, you know, you're being drawn somewhere else, okay? Now, you may be playing the lead role in this situation, or it can be that um, maybe somebody... Uh, close to you is frightened of letting you down they've made a promise to you either way okay so we also got um battles okay so this is a battle okay this is a battle because it's ones it's linked with a doing card doing energy so this isn't doesn't have to be a fight as such this can just be you know something is playing out and um, it is a struggle, you know, this isn't easy, um, it, it is uh, creating conflict or, or disruption around. And the magician says, you've got all the tools, look at the tools, you've got a, a, a cup, a pentacle, you've got a sword and a wand, so you've, the, this is your spirit guides, your loved ones, okay, this is them saying you've got everything you need to go where you want to go and, and to achieve what you want to achieve. All you have to do is trust. And so this is what they're saying, you know, go with your, go with the energy. Okay, go with the energy. It's, uh, you know, what does it feel like? Okay, so, you know, this is looking at these cards is a very difficult decision that is um, you're facing or somebody very, very, um, very uh, close to you is is really um, struggling with and um, either way nobody wants to upset anybody but there are new pathways opening up since the promise so there you go that's what i see for capricorns okay so this is leo's okay Let's see what um what we got for Leo's. Here we go. Okay, so this is the twenty second through to the twenty eighth of July. Okay, so we've got the hanged man. So life is a bit a bit upside down. Seems to be a lot of pendings, waiting. You know, waiting to find out this, waiting to find out that. Um, it's getting a bit frustrating, though. You're a bit fed up with uh, the wait. You know, if it was up to you, you'd have it done by now. Um, but other people are involved and other complications. And so everything is that kind of patience. And um, you're trying to look at things from different angles. You're trying to look at things from, you know, someone else's point of view, you know. Uh, what do they think about this? You know, what uh, what are they doing? Sometimes it's the universe saying, are you sure you want what you're going for? You know, are you absolutely sure? This is the universe putting a pause 
um, into your plan just to give you a chance to make sure because sometimes we think we know what we want we race forward but sometimes it's actually not a good thing so yeah um there's something that um is important it's important for um you to think clearly okay um, are you judging somebody else maybe um and uh, maybe there's a lesson to be learned in judging you know just that just come to mind judging okay so you've got the princess of cups now with all tarot there are four personality cards and there are only three astrology signs linked with cups which is water so three water signs which always leaves one left out always going to be the princess or the page in tarot the princess and the pages are the young energy the immature energy so the immature energy in cups is a child who is very emotional or it's an adult with a childlike perception somebody who's acting like a child maybe they're throwing their toys at their pram because they're not getting what they what they feel that they want so okay then we've got the king of swords and the cosmic deck, it, all the birth signs are done for you, you on the card, all the astrology. Um, there's your Libra sign there. Okay, you see that? There's your Libra sign. Um, so Libra energy is somebody who weighs, weighs everything up and then decides, has a good long think about how things will turn out if they decide this way or if they decide that way, you know? Who will it affect? What what will happen if? So this person sometimes can overthink um, and um, can then cause there to be um, complications or a lack of communicating. So is there something going on with lack of communication, linking with a child or a childlike adult? Um, are things waiting or you're trying to wait to see if things change? See if things get back, get get settled. Okay, what's going on? Maybe with this situation, um, everything is going to become clear. I would say in the next um, week to a couple of weeks, um, things is going to change in that uh, situation. You don't have to worry if you're not a Libra. It can just be that you're acting like a Libra, or you're being made to act like a Libra, trying to weigh everything up trying to you know deep think analyze conversations um and that card that just uh, was out at the bottom of the that deck was the um empress so that could be to do with a mother so is there a motherly situation going on there um a mother link okay that card just also wanted to come out as well so yeah the nine of swords there's too much gossip some people are not telling it how it is how it really is some people are exaggerating the truth or putting the truth as they see it maybe not how it really is so very complex situation there so here you go that's what i see for leos so sagittarius okay sagittarius 22nd through to the 28th of july so once again, I'm sorry about my voice. Um, I'm not well. That's why you're getting this kind of, <laughs> this kind of uh, situation here, just my hands. But as well, I can I can show you how I see the cards. So it might be helpful to anybody who's learning. Um, if you want to have a day workshop with myself, um, it is uh, thirty five pounds, which works out about forty four dollars. Um, and that's for a six hour workshop and that is this coming Saturday um, it's 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. and that's UK time it's 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern so if anybody does want to join go to psychicalley.net and um, put your name down okay so Sagittarius
something different. We just stop shuffling. So, so <coughs> oh, now, now this is a new deck of cards, okay? And so what I've done is I've, I've left in the two Joker cards, the two cards that are added in there. And one is a no card and the other one is a yes card. So we're going to put that up there. So that's a no. Let's have a look and see what they're talking about. So this is to do with celebration, achievement. You've done it, three of wands. It's a personal feeling of, I feel good about that. You know, I've worked really hard. Overflowing of emotions. Sometimes we can't help ourselves from feeling so overwhelmed with the fact that we're so proud of that we've actually achieved what we said we were going to achieve. Sometimes we thought maybe we wasn't going to be able to. Am I going to be blocked for the future? Let's shine on these cards. I'm going to have to lay them out a bit different. So let's see the Ten of Wands. So with the Ten of Wands, that a feeling of, of worry about being blocked so you've achieved so much already. Am I going to be blocked? The answer to that is no. You won't be blocked. The only person who can block you is you. Um, this is going to be good day, um, good opportunity for you. Um, everything is going in a in a good um, direction, especially to do with ambitions, career motivation, life path, um, determination of. Um, you know, your, what you've been born to do, basically. So, yeah, very exciting time for you, Sagittarians. So, there you go. So, this is, this is going to be Aries now, okay? And I've uh, changed the deck over to the Lightseers cards. So, um, and this is by Chris Ann, and with an E. And um, I recommend these cards as well. They're very good cards um, as a first deck. The Cosmic Deck by Norbert Loesch is what I was using, the Cosmic Deck, Norbert Loesch, L-O-S-C-H-E. And these are the Light Seers by Chris and a double n e okay so is that a concentration now on aries okay first card out best card in the deck the world okay so the world card is basically saying that everything that you have worried about to do with your ambition, to do with what you're doing and how you're going to do it, you know, the world card is saying, yep, it's all yours. You want it, that's it. The world card is one of the best in the deck, the sun and the world. And um, this is, um, let's see what the other cards are that go with it. Let's give it some context. Okay, so with these, they're not all done for you, okay, the astrology signs. So I found it difficult when I had these cards and was teaching with these cards, then it's not as obvious, okay, what the, um, the, the signs are. This one was definitely a Leo because of the lion, okay? But uh, yeah, they, they weren't. So I said to people, just write it on your card. I would usually say write it um, somewhere like hidden somewhere here that nobody else could see it. I don't care that people see it because I teach with these cards. But anyway, Leo energy. So Leo energy is where somebody is, they can be very vibrant one minute, quite lazy the next. It's like, you know, they. it's like they get this sudden burst of enthusiasm, but then things can bore them easily. And so they, they fluctuate on the two. And I feel that this particular energy, um, it, somebody doesn't like this about themselves. They want to complete 
the mission. They want to complete tasks. They want to achieve so much more than they have. Okay, so have you been feeling a bit lethargic? Has there been something that you need to get on with and you're not doing it? Now, again, I had to write on this card as well. So this is Aries. Okay, this is the Aries energy. In my opinion, you might have a deck of these and you see something different. And that's absolutely fine. As long as you programmed what your card is and that's all you need for your guides. But anyway, um, this is sheer determination. Aries don't muck about. Um, if they say they're going to do something or get something, then they will do it. Um, they can be very one-minded okay about things okay they've also got the leadership energy as well and that leadership can come across sometimes as upsetting other people because they are just a born leader um and sometimes they can take over when other people are dithering about they've already got it sorted out in their mind what should happen so this is your typical aries energy doesn't mean to say every Aries or every Leo is the same. It's just a, an energy. So mixing these together, um, there is somebody around you who has been quite um, bossy or trying to get um, things done. And you've been going, I don't know if I want to. I'm, I'm feeling a bit lethargic today. I'm a bit lazy. I don't really know what I want. So I don't like being told that I have, have to do this. Well, the world card does indicate that things are going to work out fine. Don't worry about it. All will be all will be OK. So sometimes we can actually get our point across without having a fallout, without arguing with anybody. So, you know, watch as things start to move forward. OK, people will start to get used to each other's personalities and work around them got the seven of cups also out there the seven of cups means there's a lot of emotional choices you know if this person doesn't want to play fair and is you know not feeling as if they're up to the job then it's their decision to move on and also if this person isn't feeling happy with this person's um lack of enthusiasm then they can make decisions as well so I feel that there's going to be a big decision or and somebody who, if they really want to stay in their situation, in their job or stay in their relationship or stay in that partnership, then I think they're going to have to pull their socks up and actually commit and, uh, and sort things out because I feel that the time is ticking with this. So there you go. That's what I see for Aries. Oh, yeah, I've just thought. Aries and Aries come up. So, yeah, sorry, mine's not in it today. <laughs> so, there you go. That's uh, what I see for Aries. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's carry on with um, the light spheres. Okay. So, let's see what my guides want to tell you that's going on with Aquarius. This is a shortened version um, because I didn't want to go two weeks without doing the astrology. And um, as you can hear, um, I'm not well, but um, I didn't want to let you guys tell. Okay, here we go. Okay. So Scorpio energy. So this to me feels as if it's a, a romantic um, gesture that is going to be coming your way, either romantic or it might be um, kind, kindness, okay? Um, there seems to be, it's like you've been um, picked out of a crowd or, you know, been chosen for, okay? Um, it's like acknowledgement kind of feeling um, and that's could be romantic or it could be to do with work, okay? Because there are um, lots of different Aquarius people here. Um, this is why I can't be precise. So I'm covering um, a multitude of different Aquarians, okay? So 
Um, but yeah, this is a this is a nice gesture. Okay, it's something that's very kind and thoughtful. Okay, so all these personality cards keep coming up. Um, so this is what I see of Capricorn here. Um, so this is um, somebody who is trying to um, maybe start a new business or you know extend a business that they've already got. Um, this to me says that this. It's like you, whoever you is listening to this, you have got an idea, um, a gift, um, you know, something that you've got a flair for um, that could gain you money, that could give you that extra income that you want. And I can see that this, um, this extra income is going to um, gonna really take over um, to become maybe your main job okay eventually um it's like you're fed up of working for maybe a corporate company or maybe you know you're just a a little kind of person in a big kind of um bit business um and nobody seems to notice you or care about what you do um so this is about empowering yourself this is about saying i am you know, I'm good enough to be acknowledged. I'm good enough for promotion. I'm good enough to be the the um, the person at the top of the list, and not the person at the bottom of the list. Whether that be emotionally, or whether that be to do with work. Um, either way, there's such a um, it's a strong energy that is building up. Okay, um, with you, it really is. Um, it's basically saying. I've had enough of playing second best for sure. And this indicates heartbreak. So somebody has one minute shown you kindness, recognition, and the next minute drives you bonkers because they are either dismissing you or they don't care if they've upset you. Either way, you've made it, made it your choice to stop and think, what do I need? what is in it for me okay um and this doesn't have to be a bad thing this also doesn't mean that you have to fall out with anybody it does mean though that um people will respect you um for standing standing strong and dealing with the issue um without holding back you've planted seeds already you've planted the opportunities in the past Maybe you've done a little training course here. Maybe as a child, you learned this skill. Um, maybe you're good at this. And maybe you, there's loads of things that you still don't realize what you're good at. But all of these are planted. So you do have choices in the direction that you could go in. But sometimes it's just easier um, to stay where you are because you're frightened to, to make that move. You're frightened to change anything because it's safe where you are but I do feel the time will come where this will loom up this leader in you will 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 rise up and say no more no more so there you go that's what I get for Aquarius okay so Gemini let's have a look Going back to Cosmic Deck. I'm going to tune in now to Gemini's 22nd through to the 28th of July. Oh, oh, these are slippery cards, so they don't shuffle as well. But I will read that one because that one didn't want to come out. It's the third time that a Leo card has come out today. So sometimes we get like um, an overall kind of... Um, prediction that goes on with these global readings which is interesting okay so concentrate on gemini there it is okay right so the magician okay magician is um very spiritual kind of feeling to it it means your spirit guides 
your loved ones um, they're all there saying well get on with it you've got all the tools to make this work you've got a pentagram which is money or ambition to earn money you've got a sword which is your thoughts you've got a cup which is your emotions and you've got a wand which is your determination so you've got everything there to make this work to to do what you need to do in order to, to succeed okay you can do this now this is a meeting okay so the four of pentacles in this cosmic deck you can see it's like solicitor manager estate agent or somebody who is um able to achieve um something official okay this could be an official meeting it can be um you know having um i don't know just the results that you that you need from maybe a medical profession professional um or something like that okay but it is it's a good feeling okay we get get with this um because it's next to the magician card which says that you know whatever happens you're going to get through this it's going to be going to be fine okay right so then we've got the no card so is there something that you are worrying about okay regarding some official documents or paperwork is there something that you do think that you know is not going to go in your direction you know that whatever you think about or whatever you think you deserve you will get and so sometimes we have to change our attitude and we have to you know um put a cosmic order in otherwise you will get what you fear so there is still time for you to change this around um there is time for you to say no i'm going to achieve the best possible outcome so a lot of these are fear-based cards so um what is it that you're fearful about what is it that is um is turning up in your life that makes you feel less um a, a, an achiever okay um so i'm going to see if there's another timeline to this okay because this is more of a positive one this is somebody from your past or maybe this whole situation is linked to somebody from your past and um, did they make you feel inferior did they make you feel as though you couldn't succeed you know um and when you go back into their energy is that playing with your mind you know um are you feeling like a child again or are you feeling you know innocent and uh yeah so let's have a look and see if there's another timeline here we go for Gemini's ready okay breaking free from rest restrictions breaking free from anything that is holding you back so that's pretty good okay so unshackling yourself from that negativity learning being more prepared so if you are more prepared for this meeting it's going to go much better for you so if not, if you kind of just go and you haven't made preparations and you haven't thought about it and motivated and think and, and thought in a very positive manner, um, then this is your timeline. But if you do decide to change that um, mindset to positive, then look at the outcome that you have. You know, this is the financial achievement card. This is, I've got it, I've done it. This is brilliant okay so clearly can you see what positive thinking does for you and what negative thinking does for you okay two different timelines there which one are you going to let play out it's up to you so you could some of the affirmations that you could do um perhaps um light a candle every day and say thank you universe for all that i have and think about everything that you have even the small things and then say thank you universe for my financial abundance thank you universe for my health i've never been so healthy thank you universe for my, the love of my life we love each other unconditionally thank you universe for the safety of my home thank you universe for my new car thank you universe for my perfect job so there's just some of the affirmations 
you can change the wording a little bit, but always say it in the positive and always say in the now, like you already have it. Okay. Um, it just makes the universe bring it to you quicker. So, and you say those words, each sentence three times and feel it, feel it with positivity in your heart. And really that's all you have to do. Okay, so there you go. That's what I get for Geminis. But obviously if you're a Gemini, if you're not a Gemini, but that resonated with you, then please take it um, because there may be something in there that my guides deliberately slip in um, for you, okay? Okay, so this is Libra. This is my lovely husband, Mr. Greg Prescott, bless him. So, um, and the other Librans out there. Okay, let's have a look. 22nd through to the 28th of July. Yeah. Okay, so we've got the Five of Pentacles. Okay, the Five of Pentacles, it's money being spent out. Okay, let's see where else we're going with it. Is somebody who got uh, a very blunt way of wording things, a blunt way of talking. And now that one is somebody who can be rejecting, a rejecting energy or someone who has rejected. So I need more cards with these. Okay. So this is to do with a mother or a motherly character or a nurturing female. And also the nine of wands, which is feeling as if we are blocked or feeling as if we don't know which way to go forward. So I know what this means to me and Greg, which I'll tell you in a minute. But um, anyway, the five of pentacles is to do with money um, and it's to do with a lack of. It's to do with needing more money, finding different ways to earn more money and um, being creative at that time as well but there's somebody around that's next week that may be putting things um in a negative way is being kind of um you know not being supportive or you know being a bit dismissive of the ideas that um maybe one person is putting across maybe you're putting across these new ideas or new ways of getting out of a financial situation that you'll you'll find yourself in but you know you might not feel as if you're getting the support that you need maybe you're not doing it just for yourself maybe you're doing something for um your family or for other people and it's like nobody can actually see um that you're trying your hardest um this is a motherly character so is this a mother or is this a nurturer? Okay, maybe you feel as if you need some support, some emotional support here. And, you know, which way are we going to go? You know, is there going to be um, a block here? So regarding Greg and I, this is us juggling about how we're going to um, see each other this year. Um, financially trying to get things organized and ideas on what we can do to actually be together so there's lots of so this is kind of a little bit of that I believe not sure about the sharp tongued person and the motherly character or nurturer yet so this is the future so we'll see how that goes um, but what does it mean to you guys what does it mean to other Librans okay so not such a great reading there let's see if there's another timeline um, See if there's something else more positive um, to go with. Sometimes there is not another one. Again, look, feeling trapped, feeling as if which way do we go from here? Maybe there's somebody new or somebody, a new energy coming in with some ideas on how, how this can be done. How to get out of the situation. Yeah, so this can be you know, forward planning, okay? 
um, getting excited about the future, um, seeing everything clear. And there's the other timeline is the world, everything turning out better than you could have ever hoped for. So, yeah. So this is it. Thinking in a more positive way will get you past obstacles. You've seen this time and time again with these readings and seeing if there's another timeline. And if so, is it a better timeline? And the answer to that one is yes. So keep the faith. Keep the faith and don't let other people try and talk you down from, you know, knowing that it's all going to happen. Okay. So just put some trust in this. Okay. So let's see next. Okay, so this is Scorpio's reading, um, 22nd through to the 28th of July. Okay, so I'm just going to tune in. Oh, that's the point. Let me just record it for my daughter, Ria. That's it. So Scorpio's reading for the 22nd through to the 28th of July. Okay, so apart from my daughter Rhiannon, any other Scorpios out there? Let's have a look. So I'm tuning in now. Right. So, um, the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so the Two of Pentacles, this indicates stepping forward on a new project, a new plan. Um, and this is about feeling more energized, really, um, and maybe making some plans for the future. Maybe you're not processing them, doing them yet, but maybe they're just kind of like just bullet points of, you know, what you can do in your future. So there's also maybe trying to venture further out um, maybe outside of your comfort zone a little bit um, for your future. Um, but I just feel there is, um, it's like um, a real excitement that is going to be um, pushing forward for you. Lots of excitement there. Okay. Um, yeah, they're talking about training as well. Maybe studying and learning skills um, ready for the next phase of your financial achievements. Maybe there's a job that will involve later on you learning more skills. So maybe it's a time to study and to plan, but not to actually do anything else yet. Um, there's a lot of hard work around and there's, a, there's somebody around you who is um, um, always there for money, always you know, plods on forward um, with their financial plans. Um, they're, an, they're an achiever in their own right, but they are, they're stable, they're secure, um, you know what they're doing, okay? They are, they basically work for their family or they work for the people that they love. And we've also got, um, a, a feeling also of wanting to be independent. So I still feel as if this is independent um, earning capabilities, earning money from um, something that you have already learnt. Maybe there's a skill that you've got that you haven't quite um, learnt how to earn money from. Um, but everything will come in. Everything will start to manifest. It's just in the pending stage right now. This means that sometimes things have to end to begin, and sometimes we're in that transition energy before the celebration starts, before the real achievement starts, the public recognition um, and rewards, they're all coming. Um, so the transition and then the success so you're reinventing yourself at this moment in time, rebranding yourself, okay, to become 
what it is that you're going to become and look as it really starts to um, move on you've got the eight of wands which is go 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 nothing stopping you and the success card achievement success but at the moment you're in transition so that could be you know um for my daughter the way i would look at this is she's just had a baby and um she's she's doing the mum bit of, at the moment so you know the old her has had to go and the new her is now um you know being a mum to a little uh, baby and the other two so that's the transition okay and then comes success and then comes racing ahead so maybe it's not a time um to be racing ahead just now um are you feeling like that is there stuff that you're going to do that is maybe um it's like you're going to just um do the preparation work now and and then take a leap later on okay so there you go that's what i see for scorpios okay so this is pisces okay um so this is um for myself and my mum we're both pisces um and for the other pisces out there okay um this is the 22nd through to the 28th of july okay just doing not mini readings um because i'm not well so but i didn't want to go two weeks without doing them so here we go. So let's have a look. Right. Okay. So what's going to be happening? Oh, brilliant card. Um, you got the nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles um is um financial rewards coming to you from um from feeling as though they've been moving against you but the tide is rolling in now um there is a lot of things to be thankful for so stay in that gratitude energy um, and all is going to go even better um financially for you um so think about the things that you do have think about you know the um the little things in life um and keep keep that in mind um, and stay in that kind of very high vibe energy. Um, Nine of Pentacles means that you've nearly got what it is that you've always wanted. Um, there might just be something missing. Okay, just um, so don't concentrate on that something that's missing. Concentrate on all the things that you do have. So lovely. So we've got the Three of Pentacles, and this is building up of a business. These two cards are very good cards for business ideas. And Greg and I have got some amazing ideas for M5D that is all being worked upon in the background um, that you may not know about yet, but it will be there, okay? So it's quite an exciting time. Okay, so. You've also got the magician, which means that your spirit guides are working with you um, that you're not alone and everything is going to be fine. Um, you've got all the tools to make it work, whatever it is that you want to make it work. Okay, you've got a pentacle, a sword, a cup and a wand. Um, the three of pentacles can also mean moving. So if you're thinking of moving or wanting to move, um, that can also be indicated here with these cards. There's a key in the hand there. There's a nice home in the background, nice car and financial security. Um, and that's definitely building up of a business, building up of a home, um, you know, completing tasks um, that you've set out for yourself. Um, more good cards. You've got um, from boredom and restlessness, not achieving what you want to achieve to um, absolute success there. You've got the sun card, which is things just turning out um okay boost of energy there and still carry on being the positive that you are you know bring it on okay bring it on everything is gonna be going good i um i almost feel guilty these cards are so good 
for Pisces because <laughs> there's some of them that haven't been great. Um, but um, yeah, so we'll we'll stick with that. We'll take that, Pisces. Um, you know, there's been times that our Pisces reading hasn't been that great as well. So we've got to take take those good ones too. <laughs> so anyway, that's what I see for Pisces. Okay, so this is Cancerian's reading, and this is my other daughter Megan. Um, my eldest and um, and all the other Cancerians out there. This is the 22nd through to the 28th of July, 2024. Let's have a look and see um, what's going on. Just doing the little mini readings because um, um, of me not feeling well. Okay, so just um, just have to just bear with me at the moment just got a cold and um, shivers and things so here we go I do want to leave it um, another week without doing it so here we go concentrate now on Cantharians 22nd through 28th oh hello <laughs> okay that one really wanted to come out These are slippery cards because they're new. Um, I've got my old deck, <laughs> which is very bashed up, and um, it's kind of falling falling apart. So I'm trying to break in a new deck of the cosmic cards. Okay. All right. So this looks like a very ugly, nasty card, but actually, what it means is being outspoken. Um, swords of thoughts. So. When other people are trying to tell you what to do, trying to gossip about you, everything coming in at you, and this is you saying, I've had enough. I'm not going to tell you what I think. I'm going to blurt it all out, and you're going to know. Um, so it's being outspoken. This could be you being outspoken, or it could be somebody else close to you who's being outspoken. It could be you're having words with each other, maybe. This is about shielding yourself with seven of swords. It's about wrapping up, wrapping yourself up and protecting yourself energetically, emotionally, you know, physically. Um, you know, sometimes it's about not getting yourself into situations where you know it's going to turn into a bad situation. Um, sometimes that's not always possible. But is there some way that... Uh, everything is going to come right, you know, in the end. You know, what is it about each of you that rubs each other up the wrong way? Is there, um, is there a triggering point of view going on um, if it's reoccurring? We also have the looking at the future, okay? The future is, this is a card that says it will be fine. You know, this too will pass. The Six of Swords, you can see the sunshine, looking into the sunshine, the happiness here. Um, that's like looking into the light. So keep thinking in a positive way because this will be fine. Sometimes we just have to protect ourselves. Sometimes we have to, you know, pick our fights, I suppose, um, or play it a different way. You know, find a, a, you know, when it's like mind games sometimes. Nobody likes playing mind games, but sometimes there is no other way of doing it. Sometimes we have to be creative with with uh, teaching other people how we're feeling by shining the light on certain aspects of our lives. This is the taking control. Okay, taking control of the situation. Um being very dynamic and this is a feeling of rejection you know sometimes if you've been feeling rejected it's like does the other person understand how you've been feeling how they've made you feel maybe it's time for you to shine that light back at them so that they know things are changing so like I said at the beginning of these readings 
um, my wheel of fortune, I always, it's for the positive. So these changes are coming good. So it won't always be this way. You know, you've got this card, which is also a very positive card, which means this is just a blip. This, this will pass. Um, and it will be like it's never happened, okay, in the future. Um, it'll be something that you either laugh at or something that, you know, you tease each other about. But at this moment, they're saying, try and protect yourself as much as possible and create maybe a spiritual barrier around yourself as well. You know, with the moon card, you know, you've got strong psychic powers. So visualize yourself in the middle of a crystal ball. Um, visualize yourself in a bubble if you like, in that bubble, nobody can hurt you, nobody can get at you, and it's all good, okay, um, so there you go, so that's what I got for everybody, just a little taster for you all, um, so, and if anybody wants to be put on the healing list, please let me know, and um, I just need a first name and an initial, um, or if you just want a nickname, that's okay as well. Okay. It could be a pet, it could be yourself, um, mind, body or spirit, emotionally, physically, mentally, whichever um, you need. Okay, anyway, take care and I will speak to you again soon. Bye for now.